Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can train large state-of-the-art transformer models like Bird, Roberta, ExcelNet or any other transformer model on your own text dataset without writing a single line of code. But it just doesn't end there. You will also be able to deploy these models in a scalable and managed production environment without writing a single line of code. And this is super amazing. This is a new software from Hugging Face that allows you to train, monitor, and deploy state-of-the-art natural language processing models right from your web browser. So let's go and check it out. So here I am on the Hugging Face uh, web page. This is the home page, and uh, you can access it using by going to hf.co. And here I have solutions, and inside that I have AutoNLP. So I'll go to AutoNLP since I'm already in beta. Uh, I have access to it and it, it tells you that I can try it in my browser. And if you want access to it, you just click on get access to beta and within a few minutes or a few seconds, you will have access to it. So Auto NLP allows you to train, evaluate and deploy state of the art natural language processing models for many different tasks. There is also a CLI that offers uh, some more tasks which are not in the user interface yet, but they are coming very soon. Uh, we are going to take a look at the user interface today. I've already made a video on how to train uh, models using the CLI, the Auto NLP CLI. So if you haven't looked at that video, you can go to my YouTube channel and uh, you can find that video very easily. So now we click on uh, try it in your browser. So this opens a new web page. Uh, here I have uh, my user uh, image and here I can choose which account I want to use. So I can, I'm using my personal account and not my organization account at the moment. So I will click on the new project and I can give this project a name. And most of the people like to use the IMDB sentiment classification data set as example and uh, it's more understandable. So that's what uh, I'm going to use today. So uh, I will just call it IMDB sentiment um, YT since it's for YouTube. So here you see that there are many different tasks available. You click on this button here and you can uh, change the task type. So you have the text classification, uh, the previous one, like the binary classification, which we will be using today, but you also have multi-class classification. You have token classification or named entity recognition. Um, then you have uh, summarization. <laughs> this is super cool. And you have text scoring, which is a regression problem. Uh, so today we will be choosing English language, uh, um, sorry, text classification. And the language that we will be choosing is English. So there are many different languages available uh, to choose from uh, so many different languages. And uh, you can choose these languages and then you don't need to care about which model to train. Auto NLP is going to do the model search on its own. And it's also going to do all the hyperparameter tuning for you so you don't need to care about all these things at all so here you have the basic model uh, model search where you have five models it's going to train five different variations uh, you have uh, standard 15 then you have extended up to 25 models you have a toro which is up to 100 uh, up to 50 models and if you want to go crazy you have the ludicrous mode <laughs> and uh, that offers up to 100 models so I will start with uh, extended, let's say, and I will create a project. So I click on create project and it's creating a project for me. So now here it says, so this is an example. Uh, the example is going to be the same for binary classification problems since our data is same as this one. Uh, it might uh, it might look like this, this comes from my data, but I haven't uploaded my data yet. So now here on this page it says that auto nlp needs example data which um, which can be uploaded as files csv files or JSONL format uh, and each file should have at least two columns one is the text and one is the target column and if you're familiar with the imdb data set it has uh, a review text 
and each review has a positive or a negative sentiment associated with it. So I have already created two files called IMDB train and IMDB valid valid. So auto NLP requires two files at the moment and in future will require only one file and it's going to split on its own. Uh, but right now it requires two files. So the training file and the validation file and it's going to train your model on the training file and it's going to give you the results on the validation data just like we do in machine learning deep learning problems so let me upload um, the training data so here I have dragged and dropped uh, the training file so it gives me the name of the file how many rows I have what is the size of the file it gives me a uh, few lines of code from a uh, few lines from the file, the first few lines, and then, then I have to map some columns. So this is a text column. Um, I will choose review and the target column is my sentiment. And now I click on add to data set. So now it's uploading the file uh, and the file gets uploaded to um, your HF account, your Hugging Face account, so you can go and see there once you're done training the model, just delete the file. Uh, so it's safe and secure. And now I can also upload the validation file. So now you see it is uh, quite smart as since I, I added review and sentiment in the previous one. It says, okay, uh, maybe review is a text column and sentiment is a target column again. So, uh, but if you want to change it, you can change it here. Uh, I have selected validation and now I add this to data sets here. I don't need to change it. So it's the same for me. It's a review for text and sentiment is the target. And I add this. So now I, I see that I have two files here. You can add more files for training and for validation if you want to but I don't, I don't want to add more files. So now I have uploaded all the required files and I'm ready to train my first models. So I'll go to trainings and it gives you an estimate. So if you're happy with the estimate, so this is a paid software. If you're happy with the estimate, you click on start training the model and uh, then it gives you a confirmation and you say, okay, let's go train the model. So now it is processing my data. So this step takes a while, depending on the size of the file, how, how many training and validation samples you have, but it's also very quick. So now you can see it has already started training um, some models and you can monitor them in real time. How cool is that? So yeah, as soon as they are starting or their status changes, their accuracy changes, you can monitor many different kinds of metrics. And uh, here you see, um, these are the 25 uh, different models which are being trained. Now what these models are and how they perform, we are going to take a look at that, but we need to wait for the models to finish training or uh, say like uh, reach a certain accuracy. Right, so this now you can just go relax, have a coffee or a tea, and um, you can either watch the model train or go watch something on Netflix. Currently, I can see that some of my models are in training phase, some are processing the data, so things have uh, started taking shape, and I will come back after a few minutes and see again what's happening. Now it seems like uh, some of the models have finished training, some are uh, still training and the ones that have finished training have uh, low accuracy compared to the ones uh, which are still training. So I'm going to just let it train for uh, some more time and then come back again. And one more thing that I can show you right now is metrics. So here, uh, since it knows that it's a binary classification problem, it gets the metrics which are appropriate for a binary classification problem. And then it uh, gives you like things like loss, accuracy, precision, recall, AUC, F1. And these metrics change for uh, different kind of problems. So if you have selected a token classification problem, you will probably have 
different kinds of metrics. Uh, multi-class classification has different metrics. Summarization has different metrics. So um, yeah, based on these metrics, you know which models perform well. So like here I can see that here I'm getting an AUC of uh, 0 0.9831. So probably I can try to select this model or here I have a high precision. So depending on that, you can select your uh, model or you can just go for accuracy. So I, I mean, I know that my data is not skewed so i can go for accuracy but if it is then i will probably go for auc so these are the simple things that you should take care of you should know about uh, but yeah there is no code involved uh, yet so and uh, will there be code i don't think so so let's wait for some more time here the accuracy has improved a little bit more but i'm seeing that this model has much greater accuracy so i will wait for uh, this one to finish training so now I see that there are some models which have finished training. So this one took 40 minutes. Uh, some are still training. So that is fine. Uh, and I also have the metrics. So based on these metrics and the score that is presented here, uh, I can just click on this and uh, there's a button here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it says view on model hub. And you also get all these accuracy and different kinds of metrics here so i will go click on view on model hub and it opens me a repository page if you're familiar with the hugging face ecosystem so this is a, a model repository and it's a private model so only i can see that if i'm using an organization account uh, for training auto nlp models then the whole organization can see it and here it also lists me some metrics how to use it so if you want to use it in transformers you can do it from here you can just 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 copy paste and uh, you can also deploy it on accelerated inference or amazon SageMaker, so it's production ready and here you can quickly give it a try so if i write i love auto nlp i get a positive sentiment with a probability of 0 0.964 and if i write since this model was trained on imdb data set it was about it's about movie reviews so it is and amazing movie must watch so if i write something like this i'm getting a positive sentiment with a probability of 0 0.997 and if i say okay um, boring movie um not worth the time so this gives me a negative sentiment with a probability of 0 0.9 so uh, this is how easy it is to train and deploy uh, natural language processing models, state-of-the-art natural language processing models without writing any code using Hugging Faces Auto NLP. And uh, I must mention one thing that Auto NLP is not here to replace data scientists or machine learning engineers, rather uh, it's here to make our jobs easier. So if I want to, there, there are so many different kinds of transformer models these days and if I want to just um go through all of them train all of them on my own data uh, fine-tune all of them it's going to take me a hell of a lot of time so if i just use auto nlp it's going to give me the best models uh, which have been fine-tuned on my own data set and then i can use them further so there's still a lot of things that you have to do as a data scientist and most of most of the time is spent on data processing collecting the data so that that part is still yours and um then you can also go to like config and you can see here it has trained me a roberta model now now uh, it trains so many different kinds of models um and it's not possible for you to decide which model is going to work the best on your data just by looking at the data it it works from time to time but not always right so uh, that's that's where auto nlp makes your job easy and now um, since the model belongs to you you can take this model and you can uh, use it further for any uh, any other data set if your data set is expanding you can retrain uh, this model uh, locally if you want to um, so now 
I think auto NLP is very useful whether you're working in an enterprise or a startup company because it gives you very fast iterations. So you just input your data, train a bunch of models, deploy them and use them instantly. So it took me like half an hour to train a bunch of models. Like I can maybe I can also use it in Kaggle. So I have so many models to train. I can uh, make a submission uh, using one model or I can just combine all these models together, make an ensemble submission like most people are doing on Kaggle. So uh, for, for things like this, auto NLP is very useful. So input data, train models, and they are already deployed. And uh, that's it. And uh, with that, I would like to end this video and thank you for tuning in. And if you like this video, do click the like button, do subscribe, check out AutoNLP and tell your friends about it. See you next time. Bye.